guys it is elius here welcome back to another video in today's video we're gonna be doing a showcase of my new map first person box fight slash box pvp also later in this video i'll be showing you guys how you can create your own first person maps i looked at the most popular box fight maps and kind of just went off that so that way you'll have a familiar experience while playing this but the thing is you are in first person the code for this map will be on screen right now as well as in the description one thing to keep in mind though is that when you're put into first person it doesn't really allow you to edit stuff normally so in order to edit your build you actually have to have your build pulled out and then you'll be able to edit it here's a quick look on how playing this looks like in game. Before I get into the tutorial on how to create your own first person maps, I'd really appreciate it if you are new here to subscribe because we're trying to get to 20,000 subscribers, we're a couple thousand away. So if you guys could help me out, that'd be very appreciated. Also if you want to support me, use my code LUHDYT in the item shop, I'd really appreciate it. Okay, so unfortunately there's not like a toggle switch to turn on first person mode or turn it back off. So we have to use exploits or glitches uh, to achieve this effect. So to achieve this effect, basically just go to your inventory, go to your gallery section. You need to find the shark prop gallery, which is this one right here. Go ahead and go in it and what we need from here is the helicopter pad just go ahead and put this into your inventory once you have it completely resize it all the way up as much as you can when i pass through this helicopter pad it puts me in first person it's a very small area but as you guys can see i am in first person right now as long as my camera is in the helicopter area so to be able to achieve the effects what we need to do is copy and paste a ton of these where we want our first person area to be so it's a very small space unfortunately we can't go any bigger than this so you do have to have a small area for the first person so say i wanted to make a little first person area right here i recommend lining it up with a floor so that way you can easily copy and paste it to other places if you need to so go ahead and rotate the helicopter pad this way set your grid snap to 32 and start at the very edge of the floor and there we go this is the very edge as you guys can see this is the very edge of this floor and now basically we need to make an entire row of these without any gaps so best way i think of doing this is just going right here copying it and then moving back pasting it and they keep moving back and pasting it and make sure you don't skip a spot and i'll show you guys what happens if you do skip a spot so it looks like we have a little bit more to go so let's keep going so it looks like we've reached the edge of this little floor here so i'm gonna go ahead and delete the extras that i've added here so now now that we have this area if we go inside of it we should be put into first person mode as you guys can see it does work however i did miss a spot right here so let me show you guys what happens when you do miss a spot if your camera happens to go in this spot this little gap as you guys can see i get put out of first person mode so make sure you don't have any gaps and you should have no problem and you should be first person as long as you're in this area there we go we have fixed it and now the benefit of aligning this with a floor is that we can now copy the floor as well as all of these and easily move these around for other parts of this map so now i can copy this and it'll be very easy for me to add more space if i want to and so i can just paste it here and just keep going and it's just a lot faster and there we go now we have this entire section you can build anything in here nothing's going to block you from being in first person mode and so you can just do whatever you can fit inside this zone be creative you can do whatever you want in here but anyway that's pretty much it for the trick if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you guys do drop a like and subscribe because we're uploading this stuff all the time and you don't want to miss it once again if you guys could subscribe we're trying to get to 20k we're very close so i'd really appreciate it and anyway other than that though i'll see you guys in the next video